Alright, so this is the video for the RAIN AI competition. Um, let me show you what I have. Um, this is my hover tank right here. And um, it's basically rigged with the character controller. And uh, we have the RAIN agent. And I'm using a behavior tree. And uh, in it, I programmed the AI manager. I, uh, I added on all these variables. I've got muzzles. I've got um, the uh, the muzzle flash, projectiles, and a death explosion, and uh, some audio that should play. Um, here's just some of my scripts. Here's the um, the AI manager. So I've got all these public variables that I can load up, and then what I do as I load it into the action context using these variables so I, I load it up with each type and um, I can show you the behavior tree and here's the, um, the behavior tree is basically very simple um, I programmed these um, these classes so it moves forward it shoots and then it's gonna check the health to see if it's gonna kill it and uh, let me show you some of the scripts here. So we have um, you know, move forward, and this just basically moves a, a little bit forward based on the um, the delta time. Um, the use weapon is a little bit more complicated. I have to I call in all those variables that I loaded up, and I I instantiate them with the the pool manager that I have. Also on the on the Unity Asset Store, and, um, and then after that's done, we check for the death if its health is at zero, and this is what happens. It basically despawns this object and um, spawns the uh, explosion effect. So pretty straightforward. Basically, this game is designed to be on the iPhone. So I can't really do a whole lot of um, path finding just because it's such a big level. If you take a look at this level, it's gigantic. And path finding would just consume way too much um, information if I did it every screen. So instead, let's just go ahead and play the game. Instead, what I have is the, uh, the enemies are just coming straight at you. And um, and basically, as this character, you're just shooting forward. So I'm controlling the character around. Um, okay, this guy just got spawned, and you can see him moving around. He's uh, supposed to be coming at me, but he, he keeps a kind of a distance. And let me shoot him down. And he's just shooting these uh, projectiles at me. Um, I can, of course, change that. Now you can see the frame rate up there on the top right. It's sort of jumping from 60 to 90, um, but that's just because I'm recording this. Um, typically, it's at about 100 frames per second, 100 plus frames per second. So, so that's just uh, that's just because of the recording software. I've been able to get maybe. Uh, you know, 30 or so um, in the game without any trouble with the iPhone. Um, I'm probably going to load it up into the iPhone later and upload a video of that, um, showing you that it works on the iPhone. Um, but generally, this is basically it. Um, I'm going to have to stop recording because it's almost out, but I'll be right back.